Hi folks, uh, this is Mr. Davis. I'm your local Algebra 2 teacher and today we're going to look at a kind of like a, a trig question where the tangent of x plus 30 degrees. Now we're also given two conditions here that if cosine of x equals negative one half and then x is in quadrant number two. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up uh, the formula for the sum of two angles for tangent. And that's an identity. And it says the tangent of alpha plus beta equals the tangent of alpha plus the tangent of beta divided by 1 minus the tangent of alpha times the tangent of beta. And I'm going to substitute x and 30 and do that. And that's where I get this equation right here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the tangent of 30. Now, 30 is in the first quadrant, so that's sine of 30 over cosine of 30, which is 1 half over the square root of 3 over 2, which ends up being the square root of 3 over 3. So that's my first piece of the puzzle. The second piece of the puzzle is I need to find sine, what sine is. And I'm using the Pythagorean theorem, which is cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. And I'm using cosine of x is equal to negative 1 half. I'm going to put that in. And square it. So that's 1 4 plus sine squared of x equals 1. Subtract 1 4 from both sides. And I get sine of squared x equals 3 fourths. And then I take the square root of both sides. And I get the sine of x is plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. Now we're going to use sine of x equals the square root of 3 over 2 because x is in the second quadrant because of the condition that we had in the original problem. Now, step three, I need to find the tangent of x. Now, tangent of x in the second quadrant is negative. So that's going to be the sine of x, which is the square root of 3 over 2, which we got from step two, and negative 1 half for cosine, which we got from our given. Now, if we solve that, we get the tangent of x is equal to the negative square root of 3. So I have now three pieces of the puzzle. And I go back to my original, and I start substituting in all the different answers. So as I follow along, uh, if you notice for the, on the top, I'm going to do LCD. So I'm going to combine these. And then negative 3 roots of 3 plus the root of 3 is negative 2 roots of 3 over 3. And on the bottom, I'm simplifying here because the negative square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the negative square root of 9 over 3, and the negative makes it positive. So then 1 plus the square root of 9 over 3 is 3 over 3, which ends up being 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So now I'm a fraction over an integer, and I have to flip it and multiply, and I end up with negative square root of 3 over 3. Now that's my final answer. The tangent of x plus 30 degrees equals negative 3 over 3. So that answers the question here of how to find the tangent of x plus 30 degrees. Hi, I'm Mr. Davis. I'm uh, an Algebra 2 teacher or tutor on, on this site, and I hope you will join me with a lesson that I might help you with uh, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, trade or statistics. Have a great day. Thank you.